um, governments need to have the enabling policy and regulatory um, environment in place. Um, we, for example, in the Philippines, I mentioned earlier, we could not be moving um, at a faster rate um, as we are now on e vehicle penetration, for example, if we did not come up with a regulatory framework, with the necessary legislation, plus with an implementation roadmap with a buy-in from all the stakeholders. So I think um, government has to push that. They, they really need, we need to push um, our lawmakers, we need to push the policy makers to come up with the necessary laws. And the laws have to um, make room um, for all these um, for all these new issues, these concerns, and create an environment <coughs> where you can inject capital, or um, as um, our Vietnamese um, colleague um, uh, mentioned earlier, you have to, to set the environment, you have to, um, have to build the ecosystem, and, and that's something that um, governments can do initially. Governments have to do the big push, and then they have to work on the buy-in from all the other sectors. Um, probably a decade ago, at least in our case, um, the approach to, to uh, green transition and to climate issues was always um, a whole of government approach. But of course now it's no longer a whole of government approach, it's a whole of country approach. Um, so it has to be both um, the government and the public sector, but the government really has to make a, a tremendous push for this, to create the environment for that, especially the enabling and the regulatory environment. 